every client is different. They all want different things, they value different things, and they're willing to pay you different prices. So we need to make sure that we always give people choice. We give them options. Customers love options, they love choices. I'm going to share with you some thoughts on how you do it in this video. In case you don't know me, my name is Mark Wickersham. I help the accounting profession increase their prices, make more money, become confident with their move to value pricing. I've written many books on the subject. I speak at many of the biggest conferences in the world. So let's look at how you give people choice. Now I'm going to share with you a story. I recently bought a new car. It's a Jaguar XF. It's a sport brake, which is the estate, because I like to carry my bike around. I cycle a lot. And I found it fascinating, the process of buying a, the, the car, I, fa I found it absorbing because it's a big purchase, it's an important purchase. And what was interesting is when I went to buy the car, I went to the website to do my research, and I noticed that they gave me different choices, different packages. You should do exactly the same because different people want different things. So for example, they have at one end of the spectrum, they have the XF Prestige, which is actually the cheapest option, but the, the, the name's quite cool, it sounds like it's something special, it's a Jaguar after all, after all. Then they have the sport model, because there are some people that happen to like the sporty lines and some of the other cool things that make it look like it's faster, it doesn't actually make any difference whatsoever. And then at the top end they have the XF portfolio, and the reason that's the top one is because people who buy a Jaguar estate car the, the people who are willing to pay premium prices buy it because they want the quality, the extra luxury. So that's the first thing they do. They give you choices of different packages. And you should do exactly the same thing. I call it menu pricing. You create, if you like, a bronze, silver, gold. But they then go another step further. Because once you've chosen your package, they then offer other things. So you, they take you through a process where they ask you things about the exterior. What paint do you want? What type of wheels do you want? Do you want one of those uh, fancy panoramic, panoramic glass uh, roofs? And so on and so forth. There are dozens of different options that you can choose. And then once you've sorted the exterior, you then get to choose the interior. You can choose the pattern of seats, the colour of seats. You can choose whether you, you want the enhanced stereo system with greater sound and, and, and surround sound and so on. All sorts of options that you can go through. And then when you've finally finished the process, uh, they've got some packages, they also then give you other things, nothing to do with the car in some cases. Do you want the bike rack to go on the roof? Do you want the mats to protect the boot? Uh, and so on, the list goes on. Do you want to hang your coat on the back of the seat? You can have an expensive coat hanger. All sorts of stuff because some people value those things. If you only ever gave them a choice of one thing, that's all they can buy from you. Customers love choice. So figure out ways to give them choice. Cloud pricing is a great tool for doing it. It's a software-based approach to pricing. Firms that use that get much, much higher prices. Of course, someone once said to me, but Mark, if we give our clients too much choice, do we risk overwhelming them and therefore they don't buy? And that's a really good question because we have to be careful about overwhelming and confusing people. However, the reason why this works for the car industry is because buying a new car, particularly a top-end car, is a big purchasing decision. And when it's a big purchasing decision, you are willing to spend longer on the process. A bit like buying a house where you will explore brochures, you'll look around houses. You are willing to put in the time for a big purchase. If what you were selling, though, was something that was less than £100, $100, then asking all these questions, you would, you would find the customer doesn't buy. But interestingly, in our industry, buying something from a new accountant, a bookkeeper, CPA, it's a big purchase, particularly if it's a new client who is looking for somebody to look after their financial affairs, their business, for many, many years. This isn't a one-off transaction, it's a relationship. This is a big purchase decision. Not only that, is you have the advantage that when you take on a new client, you will probably have a face-to-face -face meeting, or at least on webcam online meeting. You will have a meeting, and when you have a meeting with somebody, you are in control of the process. You can take them through all of the options, all of the choices. 
So I would recommend to you, always consider different ways to give people as much choice as possible. Everybody's different. They all value different things. They all are willing to pay different things. Now, if you agree with that, if you agree that everyone's different, please click on the thumbs up below, the like button, then I know you agree with it. And if you've got any comments, stick them in the comments. Feel free to share the video and also just check the links below because I've got some other resources for you. So please click on those links and grab those resources. Hopefully I'll see you very soon on another video. Bye for now.